people. Hi, everybody. My name is Dee Dee Gillard Rowlings, and this is Renee Hackett. Hi. And um, I'm a casting director here in New York. Renee is a very talented performer, and we are going to do a little self tape step by step for you. And um, because a lot of people are, are sending in self tapes these days, and when we're all getting used to the technology, and I, we just thought this would be a nice way to, to let people know. Uh, sort of what's expected from a uh, perspective of a casting director and also uh, what an actor can do with just the things in their own home to be able to have an audition or to, to send an audition. You shouldn't have to have fancy lights. You shouldn't have to do anything like that. If you have natural light, you should be able to uh, send in a, a decently lit audition. So we're just going to jump right in. And the first thing that I suggest is to find the brightest place in your house. Renee has done that. Where are you now, Renee? Out by where, my, where are um, you at the moment? I'm in my kitchen. Lovely. Ooh. Out by my beautiful yeah. yard. Ooh. Right next to the. Oh, right and you've got your. Uh... Sorry, yeah. go ahead. You go ahead. Sorry. I'm right next to the light that's coming in from outside, natural light. But I also have another lamp lit. And it's okay. so funny, it changes within the minute minutes of it so I just wanted to yeah. see which one works best by looking at that yeah great can you just turn off that lamp for a second yeah. so we can see the difference in the color so it's off now great mm. okay actually I kind of like that better because we're not getting the warmth of the tungsten we're just yeah. getting the kind of cool outside light now sure. if you are filming on a day when the sun is directly coming in your window like and hitting you in the face if you have a sheer curtain like you know one of those thin sheer curtains anybody that does this at home you can just hang that in to diffuse the light away so it's not coming in and like cutting your face off or or making the um uh, bl blowing out like see you see this here on mine right. yeah. there so it's not blowing out your light or out your face or your complexion or anything what you have right now is is really good and do you just have your phone up on the up on the window I was little yeah, there. I a, yeah I have my phone put up on the window ledge which seems a perfect height for me that's great yeah. that's great yeah. yeah and it is important to have it so that it's not you know looking down on you or yeah. like giving you looking up on you you have it at a good eye light uh, eye line that's wonderful mm -hmm. okay so let me have a look at my little notes here make sure I'm doing it right okay so you have um written to the casting director and said, please send me the sides for this character. So you you get your scene and you know pretty much what it's about and you found your brightest spot and this is the place you're gonna do your scene. So memorize your lines, if you can, obviously, learn your character, uh, work on for this show, for the Surrealtor, um, which is the, the show I'm currently casting, they want us to have a neutral American accent. So work on that as well. There are different sites you can use. Um, one is IDEA, International Dialects of English Archive, if you want to do that kind of thing, if you need to do that kind of thing. Then you have to decide on what's called an eye line. And now, Renee, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Say you're in a, a scene with a husband, your husband and your child. Your child's four, your husband's well, tall, <laughs> your husband's like six, <laughs> six feet tall. So if you were gonna choose two different eye lines for those characters, and to remember to please don't look in the camera unless you're recording um, a scene where you're on a FaceTime call or a Zoom call. Generally, we don't like to look down the barrel of the camera. We, we choose outside eye lines. So if you were gonna, uh, can you come a little closer actually, Renee? Thank you. Now, when you're being, uh, now you're getting hit by your light a little bit, aren't you? You're getting hit on the right mm -hmm. here. You, you don't have anything sheer there by chance, do you? I'm sure I could grab something. I also have as an option, the hutch that's in the back there, I have that as well that I could uh, put the camera here, me thinks, and put a sheet over that as well, if you wanted to see another option as possibility. The background is not um, disturbing me a whole lot. It's just when you come close, because like yeah. where I'm framed right now yeah. is a good, like don't lose your head. It's a good floor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is there any way, I wonder, that you could get a little piece of tape and put it on the top of your camera and then bump out, do you know what I mean? Like I want to bump it down a tiny bit so we're getting more of you. Is there any way to do that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, great. Well, that's good. I've often taken my camera and put it on books and like taped it and put stuff behind it to get yeah. it in the exact spot. Yeah. 
And I have I have books and stuff, but you know, it's funny we use natural light, which is amazing. I know it does. It does, but you know what? We know what we're dealing with. And as long as we can see you, exactly. uh, it's it's good. Yeah. Right now, you're on the side of the house, I think that's getting the direct sunlight at the moment, are you? Yeah, but you know what? We yeah. can we can see you. It's great. It's great. As long as you're not blown out, that's great. Can you come in a little tiny bit more and maybe move over this way a bit? There. How about if I do this, Dee Dee? This is a good little thing to try as well. Uh, if I move. There you go. Yeah, that's better, Renee. That's much better. That's much better. Now, um, a little while ago, you had uh, what did you have set up? You had up. Uh, was it your hutch you used? The hutch and I had like a, a pale like beigey brown sheet which I think is a good background because here you can see a bit yeah. of my house and stuff which I wanted to avoid if in fact I turn this way depending on absolute the light but okay well let's, let's just start now let's pick up just where the eye line is yeah. and then we'll get the setups okay right. so what we've done you've got your sure. slides you've rehearsed your scene um hopefully you've rehearsed your scene with your reader if possible oh what do I hear a puppy that's my dog. George Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael. Um, okay, great. So you've got your you've got your sides, and now let's say it's a scene between your husband and your child. So show me where you yeah. would maybe put your husband in your mind, where your eye line would be. In in theory, I would put the person who I talk to most. Do you know what I mean? I'm a certain. I like a certain angle of my yeah. own <laughs> as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Put my husband yep. here and then your kid yeah kids down there so so yeah great camera like not looking at it but crossing the camera when you speak to different people yeah. you know absolutely because it all affords us a chance to see this side of your face and that side of your face we yeah. want to be able to see everything and you actually when you shoot the, the when you shoot to come in a bit closer so you are you are tighter do you know what i mean so i can I, there you go we want to see your eyes we want to um, that's a couple of the um, uh, people on the team for this realtor i asked them if they had any tips as well and they said oftentimes people are back too far and we can't see their emotions yeah. play out on their face and that's yeah. something that that we really need to yeah. see okay that's great so you've established your eye line mm -hmm. and now let's set up a, let's set up a backdrop why hey, not sure um, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to grab a hutch. I'm just going to pull it over and I put a sheet. Of I wish I could help you. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sure sometimes Santiago Guzman comes in and helps me sometimes. <laughs> you want, um, I oftentimes will take a coffee table, turn it up on its yeah. end because it's light, and <laughs> then get a broomstick, wrap my thing around it, tape it on. Oh, we wow. Will, you know what I mean? Like I'll use what, whatever you have at home that you can use to put up a neutral backdrop behind you, better. Renee, you're so good. <laughs> I, I like it. And now Renee has lovely dark hair. So it is good to have, um, if you have dark hair, to use a contrasting color behind you. If you have dark hair, use a lighter backdrop. If you have light hair, use a darker backdrop so we can see you in your frames. Oh, I think we've oh. lost um, we've lost your your um, visual oh. there, my darling. I know you're doing a lot here now. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, can you see me? Okay, great. I'm head up here and. Yep. My goody. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing my dear, I'll tell you. <laughs> Renee and I have been colleagues for a very long time, all 30 years or more. Yeah, a long time. Okay. Now, that's great. So depending on the frame, Dee Dee, I can pull this back with tape and make it- Yeah, um, it actually, I, I, that actually, that looks pretty good, Renee. Uh, sometimes um, there'll be wrinkles and uh, you can stick your thing in the dryer for a few minutes. Yeah. Or, Get a little iron, but this one looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I gave it. I gave it an oh, iron, nice. but just uh, that looks good. I think I should move it a little more, right? Say again. I can move it. Yeah, in maybe a bit. Yeah. I'll move it in yeah, more. Yeah, good idea. Move it in a bit, and you could even zoom your camera in a little too if you wanted. You know, to get the right frame. <laughs> Lovely. And can you turn off the uh, the light in your room, the overhead? Oh yeah. Now. Yeah. 
Great. If you don't feel light on your face, it's not lit well enough for us to see you. That's one of the things that as an actor all the time. Oh my gosh, Renee, that's great. That's great. And if you could zoom your camera in a little tiny bit so we get you like if you're streaming, yeah. that'd be lovely. Yeah, just one second. And if you can't, that's okay too. I won't do it right now, Adi. No, because no, that's because you're zooming. Do. Right? No, you can't. I got you. When you're no, it's okay. when you have when you're in your normal um, uh, when you're in um, <laughs> recording mode uh, on your phone and you're not in Zoom, you will be able to zoom in. So zoom into mid chest up. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. That's that's not too bad. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. I have it on the day. If you could get it to you know. Here, yeah. that would be great if your frame sort yeah. of the way on it but that that's good you have some good lighting there wonderful so where's your husband excellent here and where's your kid actually he's tall he's a tall one <laughs> <laughs> okay wonderful wonderful <clears throat> so now you have uh and you of course you also style yourself like the character as much as possible. Uh, we mm -hmm. had this character recently, a femme fatale kind of uh, Alfred Hitchcock kind of looking woman. And so people were getting, uh, sending these gorgeous auditions, like all, all gussied up and beautiful. The more that you can uh, do the work of the producer's imagination for them, the better. You know, if you're, if you're auditioning, if you can get a scrub, some scrubs or something that looks like scrubs, then it does help us to make that leap. You a know, question for you, Dee Dee. And this is a good thing to think about or point out. Like I'm a fan of props, mm -hmm. so like if I have a, something in there that's, um, uh, yeah, like many doctors or something, I'll often have like a stethoscope or something I'm writing on, whatever. I find that that really helps. You don't find that distracting for not at all because I think it's yeah. not at all. The more reality you can bring to it, the better. The, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Renee, do you have any tape on you right now? Yeah, um, I do. Can you? Put a little piece, <laughs> where's my phone? Mm -hmm. Can you put a little piece at the top of your phone here and attach it to the window yeah. so we can just tip yeah. your phone down? A piece? Yes. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. My dear. Nobody knows what happens behind the scenes. Sorry, right? <laughs> sorry about my puppy. It's okay, little George Michael. It'll be fine. I know. <laughs> he was on a TV show this week himself. Really? What? What? No, Rex. Was he for you? Was he for you? <laughs> yeah. he You're going to have to get a number, girl. I know. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, okay. He's, yeah, he did a, uh, three, he shot for three days. Uh oh. Wow. Uh, hmm. Is it possible to, uh, yeah, there, okay, okay, we're getting closer now. Great. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, wonderful. Now you come toward me. Come toward me. There, there. A little bit further back. There. That is L. <laughs> that is excellent. This is all I need to see. This is good. For most of the tape is, tape is wonderful. Really good. There you go. Look at you. Framed well. I can see you. You're gorgeous. Okay. So we've styled our. Sounds like the cat backdrop. Yeah. Um, light colored backdrop for dark hair, darker one for light hair. Uh, facing you, and I have a small selfie stick. I often use my selfie stick. It depends on what you have at your house, right? And if you can't get your backdrop on a nice hutch like Renee has, uh, use yourself a coffee table, hang it from the ceiling. Candles really are helpful. I know that sounds totally not tech <laughs> technical, but really helpful. Uh, innovation is the name of the game, really. So we're going to need two things now. We're going to need you to record your audition, which Renee is not doing today. That'll be to do, whoever's watching this. Um, but also we need you to get a slate. We're going to do that at the end. Uh, so we decided on our eyelines. Now what you will do is turn on your camera. Uh, yeah. You don't have to do this right now, Renee, obviously not. But when you're record, uh, okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back. You need to have a reader if possible. I know it's difficult in this time of the world to have a reader, uh, but if you need somebody to Zoom call in and talk to you as a reader, we prefer that over you having no reader at all. Uh, it's better to have somebody to react to. 
And sorry, just a question on that for people learning or wanting to know, would you prefer that over record the other dialogue for yourself? And yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just because then you still have the spark of reaction to somebody, you know, instead of yeah. it all yeah. feeling rote. Yeah. But uh, that is by road. Uh, um, yes, that is, that is the, the uh, preference generally. Um, so yeah, it, so send your sides to the reader, let your reader have a read of them, rehearse it with them if you can. And then when you're ready to record, you both know, you know, sort of what's happening. And um, I've had a few people send in auditions where they read all of the action as well. We don't want any of the action in the scene read. We just want the lines. That's it. We don't want you to tell us what the scene is. We, we just need to see the actor act really obvious but i understand how people get confused with that you know so so all we want are the lines and the lines that the other character <laughs> that the character is um all the other lines that the character you're auditioning for in, interacts with what am i trying to say Remember, yeah don't read the character you, yeah, you, yeah. you just want dialogue not description thank you yes <laughs> just some dialogue please okay great and also um if you are lucky enough to have a reader in the scene with you uh, like your reader right now would probably stand next to the window. You can use that reader for your eye line if that's possible. If you were to look at it, okay, in your window right now, if there was a reader standing to the right of it, what would be that eye line? Or to, okay, great. So that that's pretty good. So you can use your reader as your eye line, or, but if it doesn't work, put your eye lines elsewhere. That's okay too. And yeah. if you do have a live reader, something that's really important to remember is to not have them overpower the scene because they're going to be standing closer to the camera than you are. So yeah, have them make sure they're not too loud and they don't overpower your uh, performance. That makes sense? Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I learned that, that being someone I'm pretty loud. Ah, and ex you know, <laughs> like, yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah but we have to be careful not to overpower the other the other person and if you can get somebody that that you know that is confident reading i mean but we'll we'll take whoever you can get but just make sure you give them a chance to understand what's happening and and you know get into it with you kind of thing all right turn on are you ever read it for some card okay yeah and so people get kind of well not worried i guess but they have questions about whether or not it's okay for us to see them turn the camera off you know what I mean? Because it means editing after you get, if you are not able to edit, it doesn't matter. That does not matter at all. We're not lo looking to see uh, a, a filmmaker or if you know, you know, we're not looking for that. We're, we're looking to see. So once you're finished your audition, let's say you're at the end of an audition now, Renee, and you don't have anybody to turn off the camera for you, just stay mm -hmm. in character and turn off your own camera. It's, it's not the end of the world. So if you do, uh, are not savvy with editing and you need to turn your own camera off, just do it. Stay in character or exit frame and then turn your camera off. Want to do the second one, just exiting frame and, and then turn it off? Exiting and then turn off, yeah. And so then she go, boop, and then she just turn it off. And that is absolutely acceptable. If, if you want to that out, we're happy to have you edit that out, but you don't need to. It is not, doesn't, doesn't need to be um, to cause you stress. Make sense? Because we, we want to see as much of you as possible as, as a casting director, as producers, they want to see who this person is. And so yeah. anything that we get to see is good. All right. So let me see. Not too loud about a couple of takes. Yeah. And so then do a couple of takes, you know, do, do a couple different versions if you like. And then once you have that, um, oh, once you've done your scene and you're happy with your scene, do not forget your slate. Now slate is your full body, all right? Your full body, I need to see you from head to toe because oftentimes they have to match people for height. They have, you know, there's so many different reasons. So if you can't actually, it is kind of difficult at times to find enough distance um, mm -hmm. with enough yeah. height. If you need to take it outside, you are more than welcome to take it outside. But people will send me slates just from here up and, that, and that's the same as seeing the audition, right? So I would say that probably the best option for you for a slate would be to move your hutch and just do it in your room. 
you know, try to yeah. keep it as neutral as possible, but not, yeah, but, you know, it's not like we don't want, you know, a whole lot of stuff happening, but you have a pretty, pretty simple room there. So yeah. I would, I would suggest doing your slate in that room. And do you generally, uh, do you prefer if people say like their name, their height and the character they're auditioning yes. for? Yes. And I've also, um, recently, um, the casting director that I'm, uh oh, your phone's gone to sleep again, Renee, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the casting director what I'm working with in uh, Toronto, I asked him if he had any tips and he said, uh, name for slate, name, height, role, and location, which I found ah. really interesting because sometimes they'll get auditions coming, they're like, what? They're in BC, where we are. So yeah, exactly. name, height, role, and location. And once you have your, like if, if when, when the sides are sent to you, reasonable turnaround is three days. Right. Wouldn't you, would you agree with that as an actor? Like two days to digest yes. it, the third day to, to film it and yeah. send it. Sorry, anytime that I can't do it in that time frame, I've reached out and said, you know, probably not a good idea for me. I just can't get it together. Instead of letting the person have to wait for me, whatever, I just take the responsibility and go, I can't get it together in that amount of time, I think, out of respect for the cast. Yeah, no, that's going to be great. And, I don't, and we appreciate that because, yeah. because we try to get as many people in front of the producers as we possibly can. And yeah, and, yeah. and it's good to not have that little dangling one going on. Are they going to send me something? Or are they not? Yeah, it's, and it's best if you have yeah. questions, it's yeah. best to ask the questions. Don't feel like I don't mm -hmm. want to hear questions that people have. Yeah. If you're not sure about something, ask me. I will, I am, I want to get the best audition possible for you because I want Newfoundlanders to get hired. I want actors to get hired. Yes. So, yeah. all right. So push that a little hard sure. back. Excellent. Oh, and there's a couple other things. Like sometimes people will send in videos um, with um, um, special effects and music and things like that. We don't need any of that. We just need you. That's great. Yeah, because if you're a bit side lit for your slate, it's not as important. Yeah. Like we need to see all of your body. Oh yeah, that'll be good. We need to see all of your body, but it is way more important that the audition scene itself be lit well. You know, um, yeah. Sometimes if uh, like I have this, pardon me, this, yeah. this one character that sort of gets out of a car and has to has to walk into a house with a gun and stuff. And a lot of people sent me uh, auditions doing that actual thing you know what I mean somebody getting yeah. actually getting out of the card if you are able to do that more power to you bring it on but it, it you can't. suggest doing that pardon you suggest yeah, doing that I, you know why not if you can make it real why not okay that's you're still pretty dark though hey maybe outside yeah. Renee is that possible or no I'm look outside okay. actually give it a try uh, hey, mate, it's better out here yep okay great now, you got something to tape it to? Wonderful. Look at all that beautiful, natural, overcast light. We love it. Oh, right, way, that. isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's all right. Go back a little bit further. You see ya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the higher up you get it, the easier it is to get a full body. Yeah. Can you uh, can you just tip your camera down a bit, my darling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do that same thing, yeah. Often that angle of a camera will, you know, yeah. Beautiful. This is very. This is a very good exercise in uh, slating. Yeah. This is very good. Yeah. And it's really important. You know. Yeah. There you, you go. Yeah. Me? Back a bit further. Don't fall off the bridge, but back a bit further and come into the center a little. That way. Yeah. That. Um. Can you um, can you tip your phone out even more, Renee? There you go. Perfect. Now tell me, tell me who you are. Hi, I'm Renee Hackett uh, from St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm auditioning for the part of Molly and I'm five foot four. Perfect. And that is a slate. Do you suggest showing all angles or no? Just um, You know what? I've never had anybody request that. If you right. wanted to do a spin, you could. And you know what's nice? You have to turn off your own camera. That's right. Come up and give us a nice little close up. Yep. And then turn your camera off, come up and, you know, use that, right? Use yeah. the fact that you go from far away to, to 
here. They see you in yeah. the entirety of who you are and you come right on up and then boom. It's great. Exactly. Yep. 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 Perfect. And then, so that's what we need in the slate. We need to see your full body. It doesn't matter if the, like, it doesn't matter what the backdrop is, as long as we can see you. Great, Renee, that's wonderful. And the, and the slate, and the slate is in fact directly to down the barrel. Yes, it is. Yes, you're absolutely right. The slate is down the barrel so yep. we can see your face and your eyes and the, and the works. Yes, yep. and, and your whole body. And then, but yes, during the scene, no looky hair. Yeah. Your hair, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, oh, right, so what happens once you've done your slate, and you've set up your backdrop and you've gotten your reader and you've done your audition scene, then it's time to send it to the casting director. And what I usually suggest okay. people is to send it either to, okay, okay yeah, thank you. Um, I suggest using, uh, sending it uh, via WeTransfer or through Google Drive or through Dropbox. Uh, people have been uh, sending through YouTube, but I don't suggest that because it is all confidential information. And uh, not that it, you know, you can have private YouTube channels and things like that, but I, I just don't like the idea of it being on YouTube because all these scripts are confidential. Yeah. So if you can do it through WeTransfer or through Google Drive or through Dropbox, those are the three options that I definitely prefer. And they, they, we don't usually have a whole lot of trouble with them. Sending to Facebook is not optimal. Uh, if you can attach it to an email, that's fine too, but oftentimes uh, scenes are too large to attach that way. Right. Um, but yeah, other than that, try to get it to me within three days and then I send it to the producers. You're nice and lit. Um, you should be able to do this with anything that you have. And if you ever have any questions, let me look at that one over there, buddy. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs>